I just returned from a successful wilderness hunt in the rugged West Blue Mountains of northeastern Oregon where I was able to successfully harvest a very healthy and mature black bear. This bear was so old, its teeth are nearly wore down to the gum lines. In this video, I will show you how to pressure can bear meat. The first step is to cut the meat into approximately 1 inch cubes, taking care to cut away the excess fat, which I'll render into lard for cooking. This spring bear meat has a great flavor, and when cooked under pressure becomes incredibly soft and tender, which will be great to include in different recipes. I will be cooking the meat in quart jars that have been sterilized and rims have been checked for dings and cracks to ensure a good seal. The raw bear meat will be placed directly into the quart jars and packed until about an inch from the top. I then add a half a teaspoon of salt and garlic powder to the meat and cover each jar with a sterilized canning lid that is held in place with a ring. The pressure cooker I use will hold seven quart jars at a time. It's important to make sure that the jars are not touching each other or sitting against the edge of the pressure cooker. I then add three quarts of water to the pressure cooker, lock the lid in place, and turn on the heat. After about 10 minutes, you'll start to see steam and hot water coming out of the vent pipe. You are then ready to carefully place the pressure regulator weight and start the timer for 90 minutes. As pressure begins to build in the cooker, the air vent cover lock will pop up and the weighted pressure regulator will begin to move. After 90 minutes of cooking, you can turn off the heat and allow the pressure cooker to slowly cool until the air vent cover lock goes back down. It is then safe to carefully remove the lid, making sure not to burn yourself from any escaping steam. You are then ready to remove your hot jars from the pressure cooker and place them on a board to cool. The juices inside the meat will continue to bubble and cook. As the jars cool, you will begin to hear the lids pop, which indicates a seal has been formed and this meat is safe to be stored at room temperature for over a year. So here's all my bear meat that I canned, uh, two batches or 14 quarts. Uh, this is going to be a lot of meals. This meat has cooked for 90 minutes and is incredibly tender. It's sitting there in the juices. It's very flavorful and it's going to be perfect for stroganoff, stews, and all kinds of chili, different meals. I also did some uh, bear grease lard, which I'll be cooking in different recipes and uh, show you how to make the bear lard in a different video. But this uh, canned bear meat is a perfect way to store it. You don't have to use up freezer space. And cooking it at that high temperature just makes it tender and kills all the risk of uh, bacteria and of that trichinosis parasite, which you can get from pork, but especially most cases come from a wild bear meat. So a perfect way to use your bear meat. And I'm going to really enjoy it this year.